Yo guys, what's going on? As you guys can see here by my background on CSGO, it is not what it would normally be whatsoever. And because so many of you guys have asked me to do an updated video or just to do a new tutorial on this, especially after my last live stream, I'm going to show you guys today how you can get any video to be your background in CSGO. If you guys don't know, the background that plays on your CSGO home screen is actually a video file that is in the CSGO files. And one of the things you can actually do is swap it out to give your own custom look to CSGO, which is super awesome. The best part about this too is it's not VAC bannable whatsoever. Before we jump right into that though, only about 4% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed, so it would mean a lot if you guys could smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. And with all that said, let's get right into the video. Before I get into today's tutorial, I want to welcome back Skin Cashier to the channel as another sponsor for some of my upcoming videos. Here's a little bit more about them. Are you looking to sell your CSGO skins for quick and easy cash? Then you want to use Skin Cashier. Skin Cashier is an amazing site that will pay you instantly for your CSGO skins. All you have to do is sign in through Steam, type in your email and your Steam trade link, choose the skins that you want to sell, and then go ahead and select your preferred payout method. Also, don't forget to use my code case for an extra bonus on your final offer. Then, simply accept the trade offer sent to you in Steam, and in no more than a couple of minutes, you will receive your payout. It's that easy. Check out Skin Cashier now. Link in the description below. All right, so jumping right into the tutorial, as you guys can see, this is what most of you guys' home screens are going to look like. You're going to have one of the few custom backgrounds CSGO already allows you to use in-game. If you come into your video settings here, under the very first tab, you guys can see Main Menu Background Scenery. And what this does is if you click the drop-down menu right here, you're going to see all of the different options you can set for your home screen. But if we specifically click Cobblestone here and go back to the home screen, you guys are going to see this is not Cobblestone. This is my custom background that I was showing in the intro to the video. Now, in order to do this, you're going to have to swap out a couple of files and convert the one that you want to use. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all of that in this video. I will give you guys a heads up that if you've seen any old videos about this in the past, a lot has changed and there's a lot that hasn't been covered. So make sure you guys do watch this video all the way to the end. Now to start off first, you're going to need to pick the video that you want to use. You can either screen record something off of YouTube, or if you have another video that maybe you even created yourself or another montage you already have downloaded to your computer or something like that, something maybe that isn't even CSGO related, go ahead and find that file. So you make sure you know where it is. And so that it's accessible as well. For me, like you guys saw in the intro, I'm actually using Nevermore 2, created by Fuse in partnership with Sparkles, and this is what it looked like raw. I went ahead and screen recorded this directly off of YouTube, and then I actually threw it into Premiere Pro and added on a blur effect. That is why when you guys were watching the intro to the video, you saw that blur effect and it didn't look exactly like this. Once you have your video picked and edited and you've done whatever you want to do to it, again, make sure you know where that final copy is being saved. You guys can see mine is right here in this folder, and now I'm all set and ready to continue on. I will mention as well, I know some of you guys might not have any videos that you want to use or maybe you just want to go in and use the exact same one that I used and if you would like to do that I'm going to go ahead and have my personal blurred out copy of Nevermore 2 in the description below downloadable for you guys. The download will be through link for ties so don't be afraid of it if it takes you through some weird links. All of it is safe. I only use services that I trust and that I know are safe to use that I would use myself. Just follow the directions with it to get the free download and you'll have it in a couple of seconds. All right so now that we have the video that we want to use the next thing we need to do is actually convert the file to a web M file. CSGO is only directed to use WebM files, so you need to make sure that you convert the video you want to use in the background to WebM to make sure that it does work. Again, in the description below, I'm going to have the download to this right here, WebM Converter. It's one of the best programs I've found that will allow you to convert files over to WebM while still keeping most of the quality and also being absolutely free. Just as I did with the other video, I also have a link for Ty's link to download this. Just follow the steps for a free download and you guys will be able to get it in a couple of seconds. Once that's all downloaded though, go ahead and open up the folder and this is what it's going to look like. You then want to go ahead and double click on the WebM converter. And once the program opens up, this is what it's going to look like. Now, this is where we start getting into some of the more complicated stuff. So make sure you guys do watch this part all the way through. First thing you need to do is find where your file is stored. The input file here is where you're going to select the file that you want to convert. So whatever video you want to use for your background, you're going to go ahead and find where this is located on your computer by clicking the browse button over here. And then it's going to show up in both the input and the output file. Basically, it's going to take the video that you selected as your input and output the converted version directly to where your original video is stored. The next super important thing that you guys are going to want to do is first consider your resolution in CSGO. If you're playing 720p and above, you're going to have to make sure this file is 720p. If you don't force the dimensions to 720p, CSGO is going to run into an error and it's going to display a black screen that says playback error in white text and your background will not play. So make sure you do this here. Most of you guys are probably going to be using 720p and above. So if you're using 1080p, 1440p, maybe a 4k res or any one of the stretch reses in between there, you're going to want to make sure you set this to 720p. You can do this by under the resolution tab right here. Just go ahead and type in 
1280 by 720 in these two boxes right here. After that, I highly recommend selecting the enable high quality mode right here. You're going to get the best quality out of the video that you're rendering out. Unfortunately, WebM files are naturally just very small and compact. So doing whatever you can to help the file retain as much data as possible is going to make your video look a lot better. You guys can see here, you can also set a custom bitrate if any of you guys are interested in doing that. It's another thing I highly recommend if you're looking to keep as much quality as possible. I found that putting a bitrate between 10,000 and 30 thousand works best and any numbers higher than that just take longer to render out and don't really make a difference. We're going to go ahead and set mine to 20,000 here. And once you have all these settings set, then you are all ready to go ahead and just come up here to the top right hand corner and click convert. Once you go ahead and click convert here, it's going to open up this window right here. And this is basically just showing you the progress and exactly what's happening. All you guys got to do here is wait until this is done. And basically once it's done, it'll allow you to click the play results button. It'll basically not be gray anymore and look just like the cancel button. It will also say success at the very bottom line of text displayed and once that comes up your webm converted file is all done and ready to go so now you have the file pick that you want to use and you also have it converted over to the webm format now it's time to go ahead and switch around some of the files in the csgo folder to make it show up in csgo itself to get to your main csgo files go ahead and open up your steam application go to your library and find where counter strike is then you're going to go ahead and right click on counter strike and hover over manage under manage you're going to go ahead and see browse local files and once you click on that this window is going to come up from here, you're going to go ahead and click on the CSGO folder right here, and then you're going to come down and find Panorama. Once you click Panorama, then go ahead and double click on Videos, and here you're going to see all the videos that they use in CSGO. Now, because I've already replaced the current file for Cobble, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with something else. Now, again, this is another very important part to this tutorial, and this is where things are going to change around with every update. As you guys can see here, there's some backgrounds and some videos that have never been used before, which normally means that it's something that's going to be released within the next couple of updates here. If you're not sure what video background files are available, and being used in game just go ahead and open up csgo again just go to your settings again on the video tab and come back to the main menu background scenery setting if you guys click the drop down for this it's going to show you all of the map files that are currently being used right now we have ancient anubis black site cobblestone frostbite nuke phoenix facility and vertigo those are all the files we can change out at the minute if we change out any of the other files it's not going to work once you pick which one you want to change out then you can go ahead and close out of csgo make sure you do close out of csgo otherwise you might end up glitching some of the files out. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this with Nuke, for example. So we're basically going to swap out the Nuke files for our new custom file that we just rendered out. As you guys can see here, when we take a look at the files for Nuke, you're going to see there's one labeled Nuke, there's one labeled Nuke 540p, and there's one labeled Nuke 720p. Now, if you're following exactly what I've done so far in the tutorial, so far we have a WebM converted file that's 720p. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be replacing the Nuke 720p file. For this next part, I'm just going to pull up a second window to make this a little bit easier, but basically you're going to go back to where your converted webm file is stored and you're going to rename it to be exactly the same as the nuke one is in the folder right now since this is the file i want to put in i'm going to go ahead and click on it then right click it and click rename and then i'm going to go ahead and type in nuke 720p and make sure it's exactly the same once you're done with this you can simply just go ahead and take your renamed converted file and drag it right into the folder it's going to ask you to replace it which is what you're going to want to do so you're going to go ahead and click replace the file in the destination once you do this it's going to basically send it on over to that folder or copied in there and now you guys can see right here that my nuke 720p is now changed to my converted custom webm file that is literally all you have to do and now if you go back into game and select nuke you're gonna see this custom video playback in the main menu it should work first try if you've done everything correctly in this video keep in mind again if the resolutions are not correct to what the original files are or if the renaming is not done correctly or something like that the file will not be detected or it will not play back if for some reason replacing the 720p file doesn't work for you and and say you're maybe playing a lower res of CSGO or a stretched version, you're going to want to replace either the original Nuke file or the Nuke 540p file. To replace the 540p file, of course, you're going to have to convert the WebM file to the 540p dimensions. And as for the normal file that's just named Nuke, you can also replace that too with the 720p version. And if you wanted to, I believe you can even render a 1080p version and replace that normal Nuke file as well. But I'm not 100% certain that works. I haven't tested out that version. I normally just replace the 720p version file of whatever background file that I'm originally switching out. Again though, once you're all done with those steps and provided you've done everything correctly here, you should now be able to play that custom video on whatever file you replaced. Your CSGO home menu should now be playing that custom WebM converted video that you've put into the folder and will make your home screen look so cool. Anyway guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. I hope this video was able to help a lot of you guys out. And if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below or hit me up on Discord. My Discord server is linked in the description as well. And again, all the downloads for this video will be linked in the description below 
below through link for ties links i know they're a bit annoying to use but they are one of the only ways that i make revenue off the channel so hopefully you guys don't mind using those and with all that said again thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace